Get ready to head back to class. The second largest university in the state plans to reopen in the fall with in-person classes. Camera 7's Lindsay Sheldon is at the live desk for us. And Lindsay, you spoke to the presidents of WSU and Gonzaga today. Yes, yeah, Steve, Wazoo is significantly bigger than Gonzaga, but they are approaching college during a pandemic very similarly. They're going to have to have a lot of flexibility in case teachers need to be teaching remotely or students need to be learning remotely. And it will all be in consultation with local public health officials. You know, we're really planning to do uh, an in-person uh, instructional experience in Pullman and other at all of our campus locations in the fall. But Washington State University President Kirk Schultz said today campus life will look very different from years past, including social distancing and even PPE. Large classes are probably out. But we're going to see a lot of flipped classrooms, for example, where maybe some part of the lecture is done with an online format, and then you have smaller sections of uh, in person instruction where we take that 200 seat classroom and we only have 25 people in there. So he says labs or activities may be on weekends to use spaces better, something some echoed by Gonzaga President also, Thane McCullough. We, we are at least beginning the discussions about extending the, the class week so that we're taking full advantage of all seven days rather than uh, the primary five. McCullough foresees hybrid types of classes. Where, for example, you could conceivably have a small group of students uh, safely established in a, in a single classroom who are actually receiving their instruction via technology from the faculty member. Other universities, like Western Washington University, are planning for something similar. And Seattle University posted online that health and safety measures will define and determine how we address the range of issues, including the schedule, mix, and size of classes. When it comes to eating, students can expect more grab and go, fewer seats, and McCullough said even expanded dining hours at Gonzaga. Back President Schultz at WSU will be watching what happens as Seattle restaurants slowly reopen. Back in operation. So we're going to be able to see some things from, I think, the commercial sector on what works, what doesn't, what do people feel comfortable with. And what about college sports, both playing sports and watching it and big events? How will universities do contact tracing on campuses where students interact dozens of times a day? I'm working on putting together those angles for you coming up at 6. At the Live Desk, I'm Lindsay Sheldon, Cairo 7 News.